good break. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, it was a good break. We got obviously the four days off with Thursday, Friday, and then the weekend, so it was nice. We still had a session to complete, but yeah, it was good. Probably came at a good time for, for me and a couple of others, just feeling a little bit sore. I'm sure everyone in the comp is, but um, yeah, it was a good break. What did you do, mate? Uh, I had big plans. I was going to head down to Portland or Port McDonald and try and chase a big, big tuna down there. Um, that was a plan, but weather kind of got in the way of that, so it was actually just a, a pretty cosy weekend in Adelaide, to be honest. We went up to the hills a fair bit, and we had some work to do, so yeah, got yeah. into that. And now, of the sore guys, I think from memory, it's probably Joshy Michelli was the one that maybe needed to break the most. Is, is he likely to be fine this week? Uh, he is likely to be fine, yeah, I, I'd say so. He looks pretty good, um, Rash. I've obviously been around him amongst with the forwards, and um, I think he's in good shape, but yeah, I'll, I'll wait and see what happens there, but I'm pretty sure he'll be available. Seen sort of your season so far, and I guess what do you sort of want to work on with your footy for, for the back half of the year? Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I think I've been consistent in in some areas, obviously with our footy. Um, but yeah, there's, there's certainly growth in a lot of others, and you know, clearly I want to have more more kind of impact on games. But um, there's other things I'm doing okay. So in terms of your question, I suppose you know I want to have a strong strong kind of second half second half of the year and impact games in, in that way, while still. Yeah, you know, doing the things that are required of you know playing for us and, and playing your role and uh, and ticking those boxes too. How do you rate your season so far, then, personally? Uh, as I've said, I, I, in some regards, I think it's been okay and pretty consistent. But um, yeah, there's certainly growth and and levels to go to in other areas, which will mean you know I'll start to develop into the player obviously I, I want to be. So yeah, there's certainly areas to to get better in. Can you point us in the direction of a few of those areas that we should look out for you trying to improve? <laughs> I think it's just generally more impact on games. I think. Most weeks, um, you know, as I said, there's some areas where I, I tick the box or, or get, a, get a tick in in terms of, you know, playing your role. And, you know, I think usually my contest and pressure and, and stuff is pretty strong and ability to, to do some roles for the team. But now, you know, having more impact on games and helping us a bit more offensively. And, um, yeah, as I said, just growing into the player that, you know, hopefully I know I can be and, and, and will be soon, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there'd be a, a player in the comp that didn't didn't want to have the footy in their hands more and, and keep more goals. I mean, clearly that's clearly that's an area that if, if you're doing that consistently, it, it probably shows that you form strong. But yeah, as I said, ultimately it's about playing your role and, and doing what's required of me. But there, there's layers with that in terms of having more impact on games and, and getting the footy a bit more, using the ball well, um, and just offensively helping us a bit more. What improvements have you seen then? Like what from if you looked at last year to this year, you'd say you're probably a better player this time around. Yeah, I think I'm a better a better player um, compared to this time last year, and you'd hope I you hope I would be too, I suppose, with another preseason and some more AFL footy. So I've started to, you know, play a bit of play a bit of footy now. I feel like my composure is a little bit better, and my voice is is growing and getting a little bit better. But again, still about doing that uh, consistently and, and executing that, and you know, obviously helping us um, in that regard as a group. Yeah. Is there a point to prove for you, Ned? Like you, Chase, when then you two young guys came over as high draft pick, there was a little bit of um you know, excitement about what you might bring. Is there a sort of point to prove to live up to that, do you think? Uh, a point to prove, I suppose, can be looked at in a lot of ways. I mean, a point to prove in terms of the media and stuff, respectfully, not not really. I mean, that's clearly, um, you know, the media's job is to go and report on draft picks and stuff like that. I think, fans, potentially? Yeah, fans, of course. They Fans want to see players and, and any draftee come in and, and help the footy club and be a strong player. But, you know, there's no one you know, more inspired and, and keen to be the player you want to be than, than ourselves and, and, and me. You know, I can't really talk for anyone else, but obviously, yeah, I, I want to be the player I want to be and the player I know I can become. So, um, yeah, it's not really about anything externally. It's about paying up to, to people that, you know, obviously help me and, and improve in those areas. When you talk about the player you want to become, I mean, it's so hard to project what anyone could look like and how quick your development could be or, you know, obviously players develop at different rates. But who do you see... Becoming, what, what players do you see? What, what goals do you have yourself? Where do you see yourself? Oh, it's, yeah, it's certainly it's hard to draw comparisons about other other players in the competition. I'm not sure. Is that what you're after? Or? When you say like the player you want to become, you obviously have a goal in mind, or you have a, an idea of what you would like to become. Could you share perhaps maybe what some of those ideas oh, about yourself would be? I think it's it's like anyone. Every single person at this footy club, regardless of age or games played or their position in the side at the moment, they're continually looking to improve and get better in areas. I mean, there wouldn't be one guy at this footy club that is content or happy with, with how they're travelling, regardless of, you know, some of the guys that are in really good form or other guys that are, um, that are, that are looking for better form, whatever it is. We're all, we're all searching to get better. We're all training hard. It's, we've all got areas of growth. So, 
yeah, I'm not alone in that. Everyone's here trying to trying to improve and you know set standards and goals. We always talk about setting a goal to to keep building towards that. You're not necessarily going to get there, but um, if you're not coming in here and striving towards getting better, then I'm, you're probably wasting your time a little bit. And how much stronger fear are you, mate? You went the heaviest bloke when you got drafted, but you yeah. look like you're stronger now. Can you talk to us a little bit about what changes you made to your body? Yeah, my body has certainly got into a position now. I think mainly I can train and, and play consistently. I probably had a lot of setbacks with injury and, and try to play through injury at times, but um, I've just got my body in a position now where I, you know, I train every session and, and get up to play. So that's kind of the main thing, and I think obviously strength has been a massive one in that. So I've put on some weight and, and obviously you know, progressed pretty well with, with some of the strength stuff. But again, there's a lot, a lot of room to, to grow there and, and get better in. And um, that'll be you know, in line with other, other kind of things that I'll work on throughout the rest of the year. And is it fair to say like, it's taken a couple of years? Like for, for blokes, even around the league, you see like Christian Petrarch has taken five years before he really started to explode. It just takes time. Is it, is it a patience game when you first come in as a young guy? Uh, I think, yeah, different people can do different things. I look at some of the draftees that have been drafted and had instant impact. I mean, someone like a Sammy Walsh, who I knew pretty well, obviously, at the Falcons and played with a lot. He came in and had, had an instant impact at AFL level. So I think everyone's different. But um, yeah, I mean, I just love coming into the club and seeing all the young guys and even older guys that lead the way. Everyone works really, really bloody hard, to be honest. And um, everyone's really striving towards, you know, get, becoming better collectively and individually. Yeah, it's definitely um, yeah, there's definitely a difference between playing under 18s footy and and any kind of footy as a junior growing up, and you probably you know rely a little bit more on instinct and, and going out. But I think the club's really good at supporting younger guys. We're still kind of as I said playing on that instinct and and not getting caught up in in too much. Um, kind of structure or you know clearly there's guidelines in which we need to play but I think the club's really good and the coaches are really strong with you know making sure guys still do that. I think um, collectively I want to see us continue to bring our contests and our pressure and you know that, that's our DNA, that's what we refer to as our DNA but then kind of adding layers of a little bit more polish and finishing our work, that's obviously been a big focus and completing plays and then as well as putting, putting our game together for, for longer periods of time so playing out you know four quarters and playing a brand that our fans can be really proud of and I think if we can mix that really well throughout the second half of the season I think we'll be really strong against, against most sides. Yeah, absolutely. And I think talking to guys, we've got mates at, at AFL clubs and coaches and stuff like that, I think the, the competition respects some areas of our game, but there's certainly, as I said, areas to, to get better in. And once we can do that and do that consistently, I think we're going to be a, a strong side. But it's about us now, as I said, training really hard this week and coming out this week and, and starting the, the second half of the year really strongly and continuing that on. Is it tough to wear not being a complete package? No, I mean, you know what I mean, like being uh, a team that has this, not scrutiny, but like you're not seen as the best team in the competition, which is what everyone's striving to be at the moment. Yeah, I understand, you can, I understand your question somewhat, but I suppose there's, there's a lot of teams that aren't seen to be the best the best team in the competition and everyone's striving and getting better. They want to be that premiership side. They want to be the best side in the comp. So, you know, we've got areas to grow in, no doubt. Um, and we're working really hard. But, but yeah, I mean, I think, we're, we're, as I said, we're training really hard and working really hard. So um, we'll continue to do that. I suppose mostly, I mean, it'll give you a little bit of fire. 
Yes, fire. Absolutely it does. Um, we've all got fire. We're, we're a motivated group and the coaches are motivated, the players are motivated. It's about us now, I suppose, acting on that and showing that in games and, and bringing, a, bringing a style of play that's consistent and, and one that you know, our fans and people can be really proud of. Now, do you think about things a little bit differently? When you play against the best teams, is there certain things that you pick up that they, you notice they do differently or they do better that you know, maybe some of your other teammates might see through a different lens? What do you pick up when you play the best teams? Uh, yeah, playing the best teams and, and watching the best teams, I think certainly that, that finishing off plays and, and just their polish and their ability to, to actually play more offence, which helps with your defence, I suppose. When you have the ball in your hands, the opposition obviously has to defend you. And at times, you know, we work really hard in the contest and defend the ground really well, but then we let ourselves down. And, and that's including me. We've all got areas of, of our game that we're improving on. So I think um, once we add that, that dimension to us, I think we're going to be a, a harder team to play against and, and more like some of those sides that hold onto the ball for a bit longer. What was your favourite joint in the Adelaide Hills? In Adelaide Hill, I went to Sidewood. Um, I said to some of the boys, there's a lot of kids running around. I'm a while off having kids, thank goodness, because there was a million of those. But yeah, it's good up in the hills. I love just jumping in the car and going 30 minutes in any direction because you're out either out in the bush or down by the beach. So yeah, it's pretty good. How are the sheep? The sheep are good. The sheep are alive, which is a good start. They weren't this time last year. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of cold weather, so we're looking after them pretty well. But yeah, our lamb's going all right. <laughs> Where's that back home over here? No, we've, Nick Murray and I, we've got, we've got some sheep, um, about 500 or so at the moment running around. So um, yeah, looking after those.